full of we bustin' Not for discussion We play with drums like shit is percussion Stay with a hammer like this is construction Drink too much Henny, might shoot up Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Clutch, man We back here with another video Today's video, I got you guys with the rarest build in NBA 2K20 As you guys can see by the thumbnail This is called the Scoring Machine Now tell me, when's the last time you've ever played against a Scoring Machine? Probably never Me personally, I've never played against a Scoring Machine I've never seen this build I didn't even know it existed This is how rare of a build it is So if you guys want this build Make sure you do exactly how I do it because you can't change up any upgrades. Everything I do, you must do or else your title will not say scoring machine. It'll say offensive threat or something. So position, this is very important. It can't be any other position besides shooting guard. So make it a shooting guard. This handed don't matter and the jersey number don't matter. Just make sure it's a shooting guard. Now for your pie chart, you have to pick the second one, which is this one right here. It gives you equal finishing and equal shooting. No other pie chart, just this one. Now for your or physical profile, make sure you pick the top one that gives you the most agility. Very top one. Alright, now the upgrades. This is very important. Make sure you guys pay attention and do exactly what I do. Close shot, you're going to want to do a 90. Your driving layup, put that to an 85. Put your driving dunk to an 83. Put your standing dunk to a 58. Put your post hook to an 85. Now for the shooting. Put your mid range up to an 80. Put your mid range or your three point to an 80. Free throw, put that to an 88. Post fade, you're gonna wanna put that to an 80 as well. Or 90. My fault, my fault. Put post fade at 90. Now for your pass accuracy, put that to a 66. Ball handling, max that out to a 79. Now you wanna move on to defense. Don't, don't touch post moves. Move on to interior defense, put that to a 62. Put your perimeter defense to a 75. Put your lateral quickness to a 70. Put your steel to a 75. And you have three upgrades left, so you're gonna to wanna to put those remaining three upgrades on the block. So you get a 33 block. Do not put them anywhere else. They have to be on the block or else you will not make this build. Okay, so this is the build right here. These are the upgrades. You guys can look at them. Pause the video if you need to put your time, take your time to make this build. Pause the video, but I'm gonna move on. So for the body shape, it is a very rare build. So I'm gonna just assume you have to pick the exact same body shape. So pick this, this is the one you have to pick. You have to pick the one that says solid. You must pick this one. I'm not sure, but just for safety measure, pick solid. Now for your height, you have to go six foot three. Six foot three, no other height, or else this build will not be a scoring machine. Six foot three. For your weight, do 170 pounds which is the lowest weight, make sure you do that. Wingspan, you're gonna wanna do the lowest wingspan, so you get 75. Now here's the attributes, you get an 85 mid-range, an 83 three-pointer. Look at your ball handling, you might be like, oh, it's just one point away from speed boosting, but you guys know that floor general badge, all you have to do is play with somebody that has floor general, at least silver, and you'll be able to speed boost off rip. Make sure your teammates have at least silver floor general when you're playing with them. That's the only thing about this build. And here's a key thing. I, I seen the video. It's the guy picked Slasher Takeover to make this build. But I want to test something out. Because I know Slasher Takeover is not the best takeover. So I'm going to test something out just to save you guys some time. So me personally, I'm going to pick Shocker Takeover. I want to see what it says. I want to see if it's still going to say Scoring Machine. If it doesn't, I'm going to just make their build over again. And just keep picking different takeovers to see which one says Scoring Machine. So I'm gonna choose shot creator takeover just to see. This is just an experiment. So if it says shot, if it's a scoring machine, pick shot creator. We're, we're gonna see right here. So I pick shot creator takeover. It's as it says. Yeah, it says scoring machine. You guys can see similar to Mitch Richmond, Donovan Mitchell, and James Harden. So pick shot creator takeover. This is the, probably the best takeover for this build. So like I said, pick shot creating takeover. That actually saved me some time because I didn't have to switch. Takeover doesn't matter, I don't think, but do shot creator. You can see that's what's similar to. Now, this last part, I'm gonna just show you guys badges, but you're free to go on this video. Like, you can just do whatever you want. These badges, I'm gonna just choose them personally. If you wanna do exactly what I do, though, you're most likely, you're most, uh, what am I saying? You're more than welcome to do this. So, like I said, you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna just choose. So, Acrobat, I'm gonna just do look silver. I'm gonna do, um, as well do like gold contact finisher 
Um, you're definitely gonna need fancy footwork, I'd say. You're definitely gonna need Giant Slayer. Also, yeah, definitely. Relentless Finisher is a must. Teardropper is a must. You're definitely gonna need, um... Okay, so... You only get four upgrades left, so I'm gonna just do... I'm gonna put these badges to the Hall of Fame. You only get... Well, what's another good badge? I'm not really sure, honestly. Mmm... Slither Finisher? Nah, nah. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do slender finisher. That's what I'm gonna do for finishing badges. Change it up, do whatever you want though. It really don't matter. That's just what I would do personally. Now you get 21 shooting badges. So I mean, you kind of can. You can speed boost, like I said, if your teammate has floor general. So you kind of do need cast and shoot, but I mean, at the same time, you don't. So I'm gonna just do silver cast and shoot. You don't really need it, Hall of Fame, because you're not like a sharp shooting facilitator or something like that. Limit or range extender. Mm, you could do Hall of Fame on this or gold at the lowest, but I'm gonna do Hall of Fame. Why not? Dead Eye, you need this at least gold. Most definitely. Corner specialist, you don't really, I mean, you kind of need that, but uh, it's whatever. Difficult shots, Hall of Fame, I'd say. Mm, yeah, uh, or gold. Gold or Hall of Fame, completely up to you. I'm gonna just do gold. Why not? Green Machine, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do gold. Okay, um, quick draw. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? You gotta have this badge, Hall of Fame. Definitely. So, you don't get to, you get 21 shooting upgrades, so you gotta make the most of these. I'm probably not the best person when it comes to sh sh shooting upgrades, because I'm not a guard, I'm a center. But I'm just trying to do, like, what I would think would be the best. But change it up, do whatever you want. It's completely up to you. Now, you get two upgrades left. There's a lot of good badges. There's definitely not a good badge. You could do Tyler Shooter, you could do Slippery Off Ball. I'm gonna just do Hot Zone Hunter for the for the hell of it. And I know a lot of people have been saying do D fades, bro. This is a post score badge. This is a post look at look at what it says. Improves the chance of making a post fadeaway. A lot of people have been saying, oh why don't you do deep fades, bro? Deep fades is a post score badge. If you think you're gonna put that on guard, don't put that on guard. If you do put that on guard, you're just retarded. And I know you're a bot. So you know what I'm saying? Don't do that badge, bro. And I know a lot of you guys might disagree with the badges I'm doing. There's a comment section for a reason you can express your opinion. Like, everybody has their own opinion, bro. But that's what I'm going to do for shooting badges. Now, you only get five playmaking badges. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. You can, like, this build can speed boost, and you only get five badges. It's not the best. I'm not going to lie to you, but do whatever you want for this. So, I'm going to do I'm gonna do handles for days. Um, this is hard, bro, because this is really hard because you need tight handles, you need unpluckable, you need quick first step, you need handles for days, you need those four badges, but you only have five upgrades, and I'm not doing all bronze, so I need, I'm doing this silver, I'm gonna do this silver, and I'm gonna do this bronze. Yeah, do tie handles, bronze, because I feel like tie handles is a better badge than unpluckable, as of right now. So this is what I'm gonna do for playmaking badges, and now... You only get two defensive and rebounding badges, so you might as well do silver clamps. That's probably your best option, honestly. That's your best option. You only get two defensive badges, so might as well do a badge that helps you play defense. The only other badge I can see is maybe Intimidator. Nah, I wouldn't even do an Intimidator. Intimidator, don't do that. I would stick with clamps. Do clamps. Silver clamps, definitely. But that's the build right there, man. That's the rarest point guard or shooting guard. My fault. That's the rarest shooting guard build in NBA 2K20. The scoring machine. People are going to be like, how did you make that build? Like, if people are wondering how you made that build and they want to make it for yourselves, make sure you guys tell them to check out my video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure to check out my video, the scoring machine. I know a lot of people are not going to be able, like, people have not seen this build, bro. A lot of people have not seen this build. They probably didn't even know this build was a thing like me. So like I said, if your friend wants to make this build, make sure you tell him to watch my video, Clutch 2K. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe. Make sure you guys comment on what you guys think of this build, if you guys think it's a good build or not. It's a very rare build, but that's pretty much it, man. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. I don't trust niggas if you bust niggas and you tell you a fun nigga.
Tyler and the gang if you mention my name.